Welcome back, fourth graders, to your week one passage from your writer's workshop textbook. The title of this folk tale is The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird. Please listen and follow along as we focus on our essential question, which is, what are some messages in animal stories? So what lesson can we learn from an animal in this passage? You are gonna listen to how a poor fisherman is helped by the Kaha bird. Genre, folk tale. The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird Essential Question What are some messages in animal stories? Read how a poor fisherman is helped by the Kaha Bird. Long ago there lived an old fisherman who made his pitiful living catching fish. All day the old man sat on the riverbank waiting for the fish to bite, but he never had more than one or two small fish to sell at the market. He and his wife were always hungry. One morning, the tired old fisherman trudged slowly to the river. Suddenly, a great bird with bright, dazzling silver feathers settled in the tree above him. The delighted fisherman knew this was the magnificent Kaha, a glittering bird that occasionally appeared to help the poor or the sick. I see you work for very little reward, the Kaha said. I wish to help. Every day I will bring a large fish to your house that you can sell at the market. The old man couldn't believe his luck. As the days passed, the honest Kaha kept her promise. The fisherman sold the fish and came home with plenty of food. Soon he was bringing home clothing made from brightly colored silk fabric for his wife. At the market one day, the Shah's crier made an announcement. Find the great Kaha for our eminent Shah and receive a reward of 50 bags of gold. The fisherman thought, If I had 50 bags of gold, I would be rich. But how can I betray the bird? He argued with himself until finally his greed for gold blinded him to the generosity of the Kaha bird. He told the Shah's crier about the Kaha and requested assistance in catching her. He asked for four hundred men to help him. That evening, four hundred servants followed the fisherman home. They hid among the trees as the fisherman set out a feast to tempt the bird. When the Kaha landed in a tree, the old man said, Come dine with me, dear friend. I wish to express my gratitude. The Kaha, touched by the fisherman's kindness and attracted to the delicious meal, flew down to join him. Immediately the fisherman grabbed the Kaha by the feet and cried out to the servants to help him. The startled Kaha spread her wings. She began to fly up with the fisherman pulling at her. A servant caught the fisherman by the feet, but the bird rose higher. A second and third servant grabbed onto the first until soon four hundred servants hung by one another's feet as the Kaha soared upward. Looking down, the fisherman could just barely see the river below. If he hadn't betrayed the Kaha, he would not be in this predicament. There was but one thing to do. The fisherman let go of the great bird's feet. The servants and the fishermen tumbled from the sky and landed in the river. It was many weeks before the fishermen had healed enough to fish again. Every day the old fisherman looked up at the sky for a sign of the beautiful silver bird, but the Kaha was never seen again. And that is the end of the passage, The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird. Next. Talk about the message in this story. What would you tell the fisherman to convince him not to betray the Kaha bird? 